just going to talk about uh, scopes and general optics here real quick and just uh, my personal preferences. When I started hunting, I started out with Nikon, reason being price point and the clarity of the lenses. You can't get clear lenses in that same price bracket. Absolutely love them. When I first bought this Christensen Arms 300 Win Mag, I had taken a Vortex PST that I had on a 6.5 Creedmoor and put it on this gun. Trying to do load development for this gun. I couldn't shoot groups worth a crap. I was ready to get rid of the gun. I was upset with Christensen Arms. And I decided, you know what? I have this Pro Staff 7 on another gun. Let's pull it off, put it on here, and make sure it's not the gun. So, pull it off, put it on here, gun shoots great. That uh, Vortex did shoot incredibly well on my 6.5 Creedmoor, but not on the 300. Same ring, sing everything. Just switched the scope, Nikon was shooting great. Sent my gun in to Vortex or the scope not the gun they looked it over told me they couldn't find anything wrong uh, talking to them on the phone I said well it shoots good on my 6.5 pre-bore not my 300 win mag this is what I did I swapped the scope same ring same everything same torque specs your gun's not holding zero I put the tape and everything on scope make sure the scope wasn't walking nothing it's not holding a zero on my 300 and could you please put it on a higher caliber higher recoil gun and test it they told me they would next thing you know I get it back with the little target they shot with a great group saying they shot it on a 6.5 Creedmoor when I called them back they were apologetic that they did not do what they told me they would do and that I could send the scope back to them at this point, I was done with Vortex. I've had no issues with Nikon. And I got my gun shooting good. I'm not putting a Vortex back on it. Found a guy that was willing to buy it, explained the situation, and he goes, I don't care. They got a lifetime warranty. If I have problems, I'll send it in. Okay, your problem now if you don't care. But my opinion on the warranties is no. Vortex does not have the best warranty in the market because the best warranty would be the one you never actually have to use. Which is another quick story I'd like to tell. I had just a three by nine by 40 pro staff on a 308 out mountain lion hunting uh, in some gnarly country. I went down hard, was able to catch myself without falling off an embankment, but my gun went down, bounced, and I had to climb a long ways down to get my gun. The stock, marks in the barrel, dings in the scope, I thought for sure things would be busted up. Big old scar on the side of that scope. All the glass and everything looked good. Got home, cleaned everything up, went back out to the range. That scope was still holding zero. My little brother still owns that gun with that same scope on it and absolutely loves it. Years later, has no issues with it. So I'm a little biased towards Nikon because of that experience, and I've never had to send in any kind of a Nikon for warranty work. So when you're out there looking at different scopes, I'm going to highly recommend Nikon for simply the price point, clarity of lenses, and their shockproof has proven itself to me to be very shockproof. Also. If you've watched my other video, I have a spacer in here and showed how to get these caps not to lift and turn so that you can have your return to zero. Crank it out your yardage, come back, there's the resistance, boom, you're back to zero. So when you're out there looking at different optics, if money's no object, you know, jump up there. Get a, a like a Zeiss or Z Zawarski. Um, I've shot guns with all of them on it. They're nice, but I don't see enough difference in the clarity of the lenses to justify the price. You can get a good Nikon 
this is a five by 20 uh, with the 50 millimeter objective and I maybe paid 500 bucks for it and it has been awesome on this gun so just a few of my thoughts on rifle scopes why I like Nikon and why Vortex has lost my business even though they have a good warranty I've had to use their warranty too much on not just the rifle scopes but other optics so when you're out there trying to piece together a budget gun and trying to stay in a, in a reasonable price range these Christensen Arms maces are really good for the price topped with this you're looking at I don't even think I have 1500 into this setup and it shoots every bit as good as any gun that my buddies have that uh, they have between five and seven thousand dollars into their setups so again just a few of my thoughts I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video if you have any additional questions ask them in the comments um, you know love them or hate them I absolutely love Nikon comment however you feel led to comment